as a kid, just I think the mediums that I worked in were kind of whatever was put in front of me. Um, although I guess I would say the one thing that I didn't think of as art at the time, but I think became very influential was uh, I had a grandfather who was a farmer and we would go visit and he would always make stuff that he needed. Not that he was, he couldn't afford to go buy stuff, but it was just easier because of his rural location to fix or make things instead of buying something. And so I was always kind of fascinated by that. And he had a workshop that, you know, had all these tools in it and smelled kind of, a, had this really particular sort of oily steel kind of smell. Um, so that was, I think, a bigger influence in many ways than like art stuff with a capital A. Hi, I'm Nate Cassie and this is my studio here in the back of my house. So these are casts of bottles in rubber with pigment and cups. And these are some of the pieces that I'll be showing in on the curve. And they're made with a pigmented rubber, multiple layers poured over a form. and then peel off. I think one of the reasons that I make art is um, when I was in college, I, so I had this great middle school teacher in art and then I didn't take any art in high school and I didn't really make, I made, I made kind of furniture and things like that when I was in high school. I didn't think of it as art and I really wasn't paying much attention to art. Um, and I got into college and I made a I, I had to take a, a, a studio art class of some kind as part of the, you know, kind of classes you were supposed to take. I took a sculpture class and everything just sort of like clicked. Um, and I thought, well, this is interesting. You know, I really like this process a lot. And, um, but I was interested in other things. You know, I was taking chemistry classes and I was taking history classes and religion classes. And, but I found eventually that art in that kind of four years of college, art was the thing that kind of, I was able to put everything else into sort of a basket or a vessel that would hold all those other interests of mine. And then I could use those other interests within that framework or within that um, um, sort of discipline to, to, to then kind of pursue what I was interested in. In terms of my own work, I feel as though the formal qualities, the way it looks, often contain sort of the, what I hope is a hook for people. In other words, that the finish is seductive in some way, that the form is somehow interesting, that uh, the surface is, is somehow intriguing, or there's some sort of mystery, like what is that thing, that's enough to get people to want to sort of pay attention initially. Because we, we, you know, we look at so many things, we're such a visual culture now, um, between all the screen time and media that we consume. So to get people to kind of stop and look at a static object is difficult. Um, I feel like the formal qualities of my work hopefully are something that draw people in and appeal to them. And they can maybe, if they spend enough time with the piece, go from there. Although, you know, I'm not trying to kind of, I guess a lot of my work I feel like is fairly open to what you bring to it. You know what I mean? Like, um, I'm not sort of trying to pres prescribe anything for someone, but rather kind of give them some options to choose from or sort of. I don't know, um, maybe a vessel to put themselves into, kind of. <laughs>